What's going on everybody and welcome to the American Championship game brought to you by here in Hosh Hosh Stadium. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic and we are here man. Conference Championship game. It's a rematch against UCF. It's going to be a really good one man so make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and hop into this game and see if we can win this championship game. Let's get it boys. So with all that being said, it is time to officially get the American Conference Championship game underway. Starting things off is a throw to Isaiah Thomas. He gets upfield for a gain of 16 as IT approaches 1,000 yards this season, man. He could very well get it in this championship game depending on how things go. As there's another catch for IT. It goes for a gain of 7 on the play. But we have a third and medium coming up here. Third and six. Let's see if we can pick it up. Brooks dropping back. He's looking. Gonna try to throw to the right hand side, but it's nearly intercepted. Try to force throw it to IT, but it is deflected away. Very fortunate that it was an interception. And now UCF will have the football for their first possession. Let's see what they can do. See if they can do better than a punt. As we're gonna try our best to avoid that as Jason Powell gets pummeled. By Dale Garrison, the senior linebacker on this squad. Forcing a very long third and 16. Throwing out their own end yo, Trying to go to the right hand side, but it's intercepted. Daniel Nash getting the interception. What a time to get the first interception of the season. However, of course for us, we only get a field goal. Had to settle for three points right there. As we'll go ahead and check out this studio update real quick. Arkansas is taking on Georgia in the SEC Championship game. Arkansas gets on the board first. They have a 7-0 lead. Both teams in the hunt for the National Championship game. So something that we'll definitely keep track of later on. But for now, we'll cut back to our own game. The American Conference Championship game. As UCF, they have the ball back after forcing a field goal. Despite giving up fantastic field position. Let's see if they can take the lead here on this drive as there's their quarterback scrambling. Looks like DJ Watson able to dive and make the tackle. But simply not enough. Still uh, first down for the Knights as they go to the left-hand side again. A quick throw to Greg Marshall. Billy Ewing lights him up like a Christmas tree but still hangs on to the ball. As here we are, third and short. Going to be a throw to the right-hand side. It's a pitch. Marshall's got the corner and he's going to be brought down at, you know, very close to the red zone. UCF looking to strike back as Powell's going to try to throw to the left-hand side. Trying to get to his receiver, but Billy Ewing nearly had himself an interception right there. Should have been picked off, but instead it's another third down. Second time's the charm at the very least. Got to force these guys off the field for sure. As Powell dropping back. He's going to throw to the left hand side. As Hughes is brought down. Jesus Shuttleworth there making the tackle. As the Golden Knights will settle for their own field goal. This game is all tied up at three apiece. But can somebody find the end zone though? Both teams have had an opportunity to do so. And right now it simply hasn't happened yet. But sure can eventually as we got a second and eight, going to try to throw over the middle. Find Alex Garcia in a tight window. Doesn't matter though, still able to make the catch. As we have a separate, you know, fresh set of downs to work with now. Going to IT. IT making the catch. He's upfield again. Another first down for this Tommy's offense. IT getting involved early and often. As we try to throw to Allen, it's incomplete. Antonio O'Connor was on the coverage, but Allen had a step. That should have been completed, but instead, it's second and ten. So we're looking to try to make something happen here. Try to flip it to, looks like Jake Braun, but it's incomplete. Noah Brooks thankfully able to get right back up. He took a hard hit as well, but we have a third and long coming up here as Brooks dropping back. Go to try to throw it deep for his receiver, but it's nearly intercepted. Just could not throw it hard enough for Damian Hudson the third. So the Tommies had to punt this ball once again, but we're inside the five yard line. A great punt. Maybe we can get a safety there, but might get dashed a little bit. Greg Marshall gets them out of the shadow of their own goal line. A gain of six yards. 
for his UCF offense. And then what could be one of the last plays of this first quarter, it's Hall on the outside. He has one more man to beat. Can Corey Johnson prevent the touchdown? He dives. He gets the tackle, but he's going to be marked around the two-yard line. What a way to end this first quarter, though, as it's all tied up at three apiece. But UCF looks to take the lead here early in the second quarter. Next quarter of action coming very shortly. Over to you guys. Let's get it. All right, boys, let's see if we can make a stand here. First and goal coming up for the Golden Knights. It's going to be a read option. Going to go to Moore, who gets taken for a ride as Buster Porter can't bring Dwayne Moore down in time. And this is the first touchdown of the day for the Golden Knights. So it's time for St. Thomas to get their response going. Haven't really gotten much going on offense so far. Would be a really good time to get a touchdown going here as we throw short that Jamie Smith. That's fumbled! And it's recovered by UCF. What an awful turn of events. They can suddenly make this a multi-possession ball game to open things up here. And it's definitely what you want to do if you're the Golden Knights right now. You're playing at St. Thomas. You want to try to quiet down this crowd as soon as possible. As there's a run to the left-hand side, he's brought down eventually by Corey Johnson. A great run, though. As we cut to second and nine, it's another quick throw to the right-hand side. He's all by himself. And Mike Cock finds the end zone as well. Touchdown, UCF. We're down by two scores. So just an awful turn of events right now. Just haven't gotten the offense going and the defense is starting to give too much we need a big play right here as we're going to the outside he's got some space he's going to be finally brought down at the 45 yard line and if we're going to win this game man we need to get lucas coley more involved free carries is one thing but to only get three yards on top of that you know gotta get some more uh work for lucas coley here in the near future talking about a guy that you know, is a huge vocal point for our team. And that's what we're going to go do. Give it to Coley. Can he pick up the first? He's bouncing around, but eventually finds a big enough hole to run through. A gain of six yard. That triples his running yardage for this entire ball game so far. And then we're going to go short. Go to IT. He's going to pick up the first down. Gain of 12 yards. Another catch for Isaiah Thomas. This kid is unstoppable. As a couple plays later, it's a second and 12 now. We need a play. Alex Garcia comes through with us. We're in the red zone. Gain of 16. Can we get this run game going? No, we certainly can't. UCF, man, doing a really good job of containing Lucas Coley. We have simply haven't been able to get him going whatsoever. But for now, the offense, or not the offense, a passing attack has been doing just enough to at least keep us in this ball game but you know we can't settle for a field goal we need six here as it's third and four going short finding pablo sanchez he picks up the first down huge catch for pablo the custom recruit which leads to his first and goal coming up here let's see if we can punch it in try to get to hudson the third and he gets in the end zone touchdown tommy's as damian hudson the third is able to find the end zone First touchdown of the day for this Tommy's football team. Now we're back to a one score game, but can we get the stop this time around? It's, it's nearly intercepted by Billy Ewing. That's a second deflection of the day. If he had made the interception, that man was going to take it for a score. But instead, we're at second and 10. We do get the sack. Looks like Kyle Barron screeching in from the secondary to make that play. And now a third and long coming up here. Just don't get beat deep as they might do just that as Billy Ewing is caught looking in the backfield. Brad Fields make a perfect over-the-shoulder grab. Goes for a first down at near midfield as UCF gets to the line quickly. Gets it to Dwayne Moore. A gain of five before being brought down by Matt Wade. So let's go. Two and a half minutes left in the second quarter and it's dropped. Another potential first down dropped by this receiving core. Let's see if we can get a third down stop, man. I would love to see that for sure. So here we go. Third and five. Pow. Dropping back. 
He's going to try to scramble, but he's met, and it's fumbled. Can we fall on it? Yes, we do. DJ Watson gets the fumble, forced by Jared Scott. A crucial fumble for this defense, forcing another turnover. And let's go, man. Let's see if we can turn this momentum into something positive, man. First and ten. Off of the turnover, it goes to IT again, who trucks over somebody. Gain of 16 yards. IT already approaching 100 yards receiving. This kid has been electric so far today. But for now, we'll go to the running game for now. Try to get that run game going. Noah Brooks finally gets his first carry of the day. Goes for six yards. So a second and short coming up. Gonna be a tight throw, but we find IT again! This time breaking multiple tackles before he's surrounded like a kid. <laughs> I don't think you want to know the rest of that sentence, but IT makes the catch. He's almost at 100 yards, and Hudson the third, though, gets the second touchdown. And just like that, another score for this Tommy's offense. And in a blink of an eye, we go into the locker room tied at 17. Second half of the American Conference Championship game coming soon. So here we are in the second half. We cut to this third and eight after UCF received the ball to start the second half. Powell's going to drop back in the shotgun. He's looking around. He's going to try to throw over the right-hand side, and we're beat again. Jared Scott barely making the tackle as well. That could have easily gone for six. So disappointing because we had him in a third and long and we done messed up again, A.A. Ron. There's another catch by Brad Fields that goes for another first down. So here we go. First and ten coming up. Going to be a read option to Brett for the pow. Thankfully, we do have a guy come in screeching from the secondary because he had a lot of space to work with. As they're driving closer and closer down the field, they're going to try to throw short again. That could have been intercepted, but nobody could have gotten a good angle that time around. But third and goal, man, you know, I've done a decent job these first couple of plays, you know. Let's see if we can get the goal line stand. It's DJ's Watson. He's looking. He's going to take Jason Powell into the ground before he crosses the plane. And UCF surprisingly settles for another field goal. So UCF now only has a three-point lead. As we'll start to get Lucas Coley going here on the next possession. A 7-yard gain. Just now hitting 10 yards rushing. A very difficult day for Lucas Coley so far. As he allows another free rusher in. Noah Brooks taking a huge sack. Losing all that positive momentum. And now 3rd and long for St. Thomas. Noah Brooks needs to make a play. Can he make it? Yes, he does. IT. Going down the sideline, one man to beat, and he's finally brought out of bounds inside the 25-yard line as Isaiah Thomas sets the single-season record for most catches in a season set by Andrew Green just two seasons ago. As we'll cut back to the game, we'll see if we can break some more records in the process as Hudson III, he cuts up field. It's a gain of 14. First and goal coming up for the Tommies. As we have an opportunity to take our first lead since we were up 3 to nothing midway through the first quarter. And we make it happen. Adrian Allen in the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. Adrian Allen making this a four-point lead. And here comes that St. Thomas football team, man. Waking up for sure. Forcing a free and out. And now it's time we have to get this run game going, man. It has been the Noah Brooks show, but we are at our very best when Lucas Coley is bowing out as we get another five-yard gain. But for now, we do have to go back to the pass. Third and long coming up. He's going to try to throw short. Find Pablo Sanchez, and he's going to be marked just shy. Only one inch away, and even though this could be a work very bad for us, we're still going to go for it here. Gonna trust our star running back to pick up the first down. We really easily does. Finds plenty of open space. His biggest run of the entire game so far. Coley find the space needed to pick up the first down as we go into the final port quarter of way. It may be a close ball game right now, but St. Thomas has all the momentum. Let's see if we can close the door and win the American Conference. 
So let's go. Fourth quarter underway. Gonna be another carry for Lucas Coley, who gets lit up but still hangs on. Gain of six yards on the play. Third and four coming up, though. This time hit him with a play action since we're having more success with Lucas Coley. And we have a wide open guy in Isaiah Thomas, who's down the sideline again. Another huge gain for IT. A great goat like performance. 10 catches, 167 yards. As that's another almost really good throw by Noah Brooks. Unfortunately, Alex Garcia couldn't make that catch. So we're back at it again. Third down coming up. Let's see if we can convert. As Brooks will throw to the right hand side. It's contested. But it doesn't matter as Isaiah Thomas. Another catch. 11 catches today for 170 yards. This man is looks like he's playing in a cartoon right now. Unstoppable. As it helps keep this drive going. If we score here. We can make this a two possession ball game. Let's see if we can make it happen. First and goal. Coley down the side. He gets in. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley gets up into the end zone and is in there for six once again. Already up in here. Gain of 11 yards for a uh, you know, nice little play right there. As now here we are again. If UCF doesn't score on this drive, they could very well, you know, have any chance of winning this game slip right between their fingers. As for now, they actually opt to go with the running game. An interesting call, but it works out for him that time. First down for the Knights. As we almost had an interception, Jesus Suttleworth, he could have ended this game for us. But they're still out here on the field, this offense. We do get him to a third down, though. Got some work to do. Can we make it a fourth down? No, we cannot as Jesus Shuttleworth pummels the guy, but makes him fall forward for the first down. So it keeps the drive going. Another first down for UCF. Just having a hard time getting him off the field for third down. As Jason Powell comes up in there and makes him run up the middle. Gain of 10. And then after that, there was actually a false start on UCF, so it did back him up. But it doesn't even matter because they hit us with the out route on this next play. And it's a second and two coming up now for UCF. As we try to... Yes, we do! Antoine Black with another sack! Antoine Black and Buster Porter are going to be a duo that just can't be handled right now. You love to see it. As here we are, third and six. They're going to try to throw short. Can we force the fourth down? Yes, we do! Eric Hall can't get enough and all hopes rely on this drive right here can they pick up the first down pow dropping back he gets helicoptered Greg's Gabe Stevens does it's well short of the marker so all we had to do was run the clock out but they use all of our timeouts and we did go free and out so UCF will have one more opportunity here a third and six which is broken up looks like it's Zach Bones this time around getting to this quarterback and now they have to get this if not this game is over fourth and 12 Powell's in the shotgun he's dropping back he's looking he's gonna throw a pair of field and he's gonna find John Patterson for a gain of 35 yards another first down coming up as they still have a glimmer of hope we're gonna shut the door as Jared Scott gets the interception! A diving play by the free safety! Able to come up with that great grab! And that's going to seal it here, man. St. Thomas, in its first season in the American Conference, wins the American Conference Championship against the UCF Golden Knights. What a game! That we just witnessed here at Osh Hall Stadium. As both coaches are going to go ahead and shake things out. It was a well played game by both squads. As this team is so excited to bring another conference championship home. And it's kudos to Noah Brooks man. He had a heck of a game. Kudos to him for bringing the title home for St. Thomas. 
we're gonna have the scoring summary for today's game and i thought it was gonna be one of those things where we would choke the game away UCF hitting us in the mouth in the beginning, taking a 14-point lead early on, but then we responded, and this defense, man, just turned it up a major notch, which you definitely love to see, and that's why we got this dub, man. Checking out the individual stats for our guys, Noah Brooks had a pretty solid game once again, if I say so myself. 288 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick towards the end of the first half, which, you know, it is what it is. Then this running game, you know, Lucas Coley, man, actually was contained pretty well for the most part. Only 2.4 yards per carry, but he did find his way into the end zone. Nobody else on our team got a rushing touchdown. And then this receiving core, not too many receivers touching the ball today as usual, but Isaiah Thomas, man, oh my god. 11 catches, 178 yards, the only thing that was missing is a touchdown grab. He didn't get one of those, but a great game. The best game I've ever seen here at St. Thomas, no cap. Damian Hudson also found the end zone twice. He had three catches for 42. And then Adrian Allen, he had two catches for 11 yards as well. Defensively, we were anchored by Jim Smith, who led the team in tackles today. He had nine total tackles, eight solos, one assist. We were harassing this quarterback, though. Zach Bones had two sacks. Antoine Black had a sack. Dale Garrison had a sack. Kyle Barron and DJ Watson also had sacks, and we also got turnovers too. We had interceptions from Jared Scott, which did seal the game for us. And then so did Daniel Nash. He had a turnover in the first half as well. It was his first interception of the season, and what a great time to actually go about grabbing it. We also forced a FOMO as well, which coincidentally, Jared Scott did force for us. Jesus Shuttleworth for us did fall on that ball, and we had three turnovers a day. I really... Loved what I saw from there, man. You love to see it. Great game from the squad, man, for sure. So there it is, man. St. Thomas gonna walk away with the American Conference Championship. A great achievement for this program as two years ago, we were trying to find our way through to MAC, and now we find ourselves champions of the American Conference in our inaugural season in this, you know, in this athletic conference, man. I'm so proud of what we've been able to do in this dynasty. But now here comes the fun part. Let's find out what bowl game we are going to. Hopefully it's a really good one. I can't wait to see where we're gonna play at. So we check out the Heisman Trophy winner and it looks like Kyle Alexander did win the Heisman Trophy this time around. This was a guy that we did play, I believe back in season six and we completely harassed him, but he does come through and win the Heisman. Another crazy thing for us is that Lucas Coley finds his way onto the Heisman list. He didn't get too many votes, but he does finish 5th place overall. Didn't think we had anybody in the Heisman race, so this is actually news to me. Lucas Coley, congratulations on the great season you're having so far, man. As for where we're going to go, it looks like we're going to go to the Armed Forces Bowl as the 14th ranked team in the nation. Going to go play against Southern Miss down in Fort Worth, Texas. We also see Buster Porter wins the Chug Burnett award you know for his uh you know great season there's another trophy he also wins nagurski just out here collecting the bag another trophy for buster porter he wins the lombardi trophy just sweeping the defensive awards he is our only award winner however but man buster porter is on a whole nother level Speaking of whole nother level we're going to take it up one more notch as we prepare for our final game of the season the Armed Forces Bowl against Southern Miss. Kurt Herbstreit is rocking with them for some random reason. And I think he's making a big mistake. We're going to find out if we can prove him wrong. Take that prediction and shove it up its butt. It's going to be a really good one, man. So make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic. Hoping that you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.